Hello mga kawawmat. In this video lesson, we will discuss how to present written statement of the problem. What statement of the problem? The statement of the problem states clearly the purpose of the study. It presents specific, specific questions about the research problem. So generally speaking, a research problem is a situation that needs a solution and for which there are possible solutions. If a situation has no possible solution, then it makes little or no sense expanding research, researching it. So, kagaya na lang halimbawa, uh, yung problema mo, ayaw mo tumanda. So, walang, uh, walang solution para sa ganong problema. So, dapat yung research problem natin, yung kailangan, uh, yung mahahanapan natin ng solusyon. So, pag sinabi natin statement of the problem, so ano ba yung itsura ng statement of the problem? Uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng idea. So, yung statement of the problem, ito ay isang research, uh, is a question form. Okay, so kung makikita natin, uh, lahat siya ay tanong na kung saan manggagaling doon sa research title natin. And then, Doon sa statement of the problem, meron tayong dalawa, yung general problem natin at yung specific problem natin. Tapos so, kung sa yung mga specific problem natin, yung makakatulong sa atin para masagot o mabigyan natin ng solusyon, yung general problem. Okay? So, halimbawa. So, yung title ng uh, research is Independent Video Learning Tool. A learning aid in enhancing students' academic performance in the new normal. So, itong nakikita nyo, itong unang part, itong unang paragraph. So, this study aims to enhance the academic performance of the grade 11 student by using the independent video learning tool in the new normal. So, itong tinatawag natin general problem. So, saan natin kinukuha yung general problem? So, yung statement natin dito, doon natin kinukuha mismo sa title natin, sa research title natin. So, nakalagay dito. So, dito mo makikita kung ano yung gusto o yung purpose ng study mo. So, gagamitin yung independent video learning tool para ma-enhance yung academic performance ng grade 11 students in new normal. And then, mula dito sa general problem natin, Ito yung tinatawag natin mga specific questions na kung saan matutulungan tayo para masagot ito, yung general problem natin. So, specifically, it aims to answer the following questions. So, ito naman ay uh, pwedeng gawin yung guide. So, sa unang tanong, kailangan sa statement of the problem, yung mga questions natin doon, dapat connected yung, isa, uh, yung bawat isa. So, baka mamaya, yung mga tanong mo dito, wala namang kinalaman doon sa uh, general problem mo. Nalalayo ka na doon sa general problem mo. Huwag ka maglagay ng mga questions dito na uh, napapalayo ka doon sa talagang uh, problema na gusto mong bigyan ng solusyon. So, dito sa title natin, Independent Video Learning Tool. So, kumbaga merong gagamitin na independent video learning tool during online class. So, anong unang question? What is the level of performance of the selected students in the pretest result before the utilization of the independent video learning tool? So, bago yung utilization o bago yung implementation o bago yung gamitin yung independent video learning tool, binigyan muna ng assessment yung mga estudyante. Okay? So, sila muna ay binigyan ng assessment para ma makita kung ano yung level ng performance nila prior doon sa uh, gagamiting independent video learning tool. So, para uh, after natin gamitin yung independent video learning tool, ma makikita natin yung difference kung may effective ba o meron bang improvement na nangyari. So, una, yun muna. And then, after nung pretest Okay, so nakuha na, nabigay na natin yung pre-test. Uh, pre Pwede na natin gamitin o implement na natin yung paggamit ng independent video learning tool in yung normal or dun, during online class. Or uh, kahit, uh, pwede rin naman no, during asynchronous learning. So, pwedeng synchronous or pwedeng asynchronous learning. 
Ngayon, after ng utilization, siguro si resolve 2 months, or after 1 or 2 two months, tapos mo na i-conduct uh, or i-implement yung paggamit ng independent video learning tool, so bibigyan mo sila ngayon ulit ng assessment. Okay? Bibigyan mo sila yung tinatawag nating post-test. Doon, makikita natin kung talagang nag-improve ba o na mayroon bang difference dun sa score mula sa score nila sa pre-test at dun sa score nila sa post-test. Kung talagang yung paggamit ng independent video learning tool, may improvement dun sa score nila. So, ano yung magiging pangatlong question natin? So, how significant is the difference between the level of performance in the pre-test and post-test results of the selected students. So, bakit ito yung pangatlong question natin? Para dito, masagot natin na kung meron talagang significant difference, ibig sabihin, effective yung independent video learning tool to enhance the academic performance of the students during new normal. So, kasi kung wala namang significant difference, so, parang ibig sabihin lang nun, uh, okay lang kahit hindi gamitin yung independent video learning tool o gamitin mo at hindi, ibig sabihin, same lang yung level ng uh, academic performance nila. Pero kung there is no significant, uh, there is significant difference, ibig sabihin nun, uh, malaking tulong yung paggamit ng independent video learning tool sa uh, new normal. So, another example, ito ay for STEM students. No? Post-paid absorptive capacity of water highest in. So, dito din, ilalagay nyo lang din yung, uh, nilagay nila dito yung general problem. So, ang pinakaano nila is to know the effectiveness no high uh, water highest in as a absorptive mat uh, absorptive material dissolved in water so meron silang limang uh, specific questions so una what is the amount of post paid before and after the treatment dissolved in water within so meron silang amount na tiningnan 12.5 saka 25 grams Sa pangalawang question nila, yung capacity naman, capacity performance yung tinignan nila, uh, same amount, yung 12.5 grams and 25 grams. Pero yung tinignan dito ay capacity performance. And sa number 3 questions nila, how significant is the difference between the amount of postpaid between the amount of, okay, so na ulit, between the amount of post before and after the treatment. So ito yon Sa number one. And number four, yung difference naman between sa capacity ng 12.5 and 25 grams before and after. And then kapag meron significant difference, so meron silang proposal na project. So yung pinakana nila, mag, uh, bibigay sila ng proposal project kapag there is significant difference. So another example, ito yung first STEM students also. So, comparative study of the effectiveness of cocoa base, base and caffeine base and mixtures of cocoa base and caffeine base product as insecticide. So, ano yung unang question nila? So, in general problem, this research attempts to assess the effectiveness of cocoa base product and caffeine base product as insecticide. So, number one question, how does the cocoa act as an insecticide in terms of A, volume of cocoa, B, length of time. So, sa number two naman, ang tining, uh, sa number one, ang tiningnan muna nila yung cocoa as insecticide. So, ito yung uh, variable na tiningnan nila yung volume of cocoa and length of time. Sa number two, yung caffeine naman. At sa pangatlo, yung pinagmix nila yung cocoa and caffeine. So, tiningnan nila kung alin yung effective, kung yung cocoa lang, yung caffeine, o kapag pinaghalo, pinagsama yung dalawa. So, number four, kaya yung question nila, how significant is the difference among the result of cocoa base, caffeine base, and mixture of both cocoa base and caffeine base product? 
And then, how effective? So, dito, uh, ang tinignan nila dito is yung una, no? Yung ang tinignan yung mix. And then, dito naman, effectiveness is na cocoa base, caffeine base, and make sure both cocoa and caffeine base as an insecticide. So, dalawa yung tinignan nila. Okay? So, this another example for STEM. Oh, ito naman ay for TVN. So, electrical skills, level of electrical installation and maintenance students during distance learning. So, ano yung aim nila dito? This research aims to determine if the academic performance of senior high school students possess significant relationship with their electrical skills during distance learning. So, ito ay problema nun, lalo ng mga tech book, kasi uh, skills talaga sila. So, paano nila matutunan kapag online? So, tinitingnan nila kung talagang meron bang relationship yung magiging academic performance ng EIM students doon sa matutunan niyang skills, electrical skills. So, ano yung number one question? What is the level of electrical skills of the students during distance learning? So, yung electrical skills muna yung, electrical skills level muna yung tinatanong dito. Number two, yung academic performance. And number three, so i-correlate natin yung level of electrical skills and yung academic performance sila. Okay, yung pangatlong question, is there significant relationship between the level of electrical skills and the academic performance of the students during distance learning? Kasi kung merong uh, correlation talaga, no, merong relationship, ibig sabihin, may impact talaga yung online class o yung distance learning dun sa grade nila o dun sa magiging academic performance nila. Another, so social media usage and attention span of senior high school student during online class. So, ano naman yung uh, inano dito, inaaral? So, tinitingnan no, yung, uh, yung paggamit ng social media, kung gaano siguro ito kadalas yung paggamit ng social media, and then yung, yung attention span nila during online class. Okay, so, this research aims to determine if the senior high school students use of social media possess significant relationship with their attention span in class. So, ano mga specific question? So, what is the level of social media usage? So, parang kagaya lang kanina no, sa, uh, sa EIM. So, number two, what is the attention span in class of senior high school students? So, yung pangatlo, titingnan lang natin kung merong significant relationship between the level of social media usage and the attention span in class of senior high school students. So, basta ang... Um, Importante class, yung mga specific questions natin, connected dapat yung bawat isa. Okay? And then, dapat yung ilagay natin questions talaga dito, related dun sa general question, uh, general problem natin. Yung mak makakatulong para masagot natin o masolusyonan natin yung general problem natin. Okay? So, dapat hindi malayo o hindi nalalayo, hindi kayo lalayo, o baka mamaya yung mga ilalagay yung mga questions dito ay hindi naman kailangan para doon sa uh, pag-aaralan nyo o doon sa i research nyo. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.